Tonight, we are learning more about the case involving Richard Sherman. The private struggles of the former Seahawks star burst into public view when he was arrested last month. Today, the King 5 investigators got new documents from the King County Sheriff's Office, and now we know more about the months leading up to his arrest, as Chris Ingalls is here to tell us. We now know why King County Sheriff's deputies sought an extreme risk protection order against Richard Sherman several months before he was arrested in that very public manner last month. Records show that family members were concerned that Sherman would hurt himself and he went out to purchase a handgun. Here's a text, undated, that reportedly came from Sherman to a friend or family member. I'm going to get my gun. I will finally be gone and take the pain with me. Sheriff's records also show Sherman bought a Smith & Wesson handgun from a local gun store. Deputies were able to intervene, supposedly during the waiting period after you purchase a handgun, and pick it up from the gun store before Sherman took possession of the weapon. This is the information that deputies were able to use to convince a judge to issue an extreme risk protection order against Sherman in February. That's a civil order that prohibits Sherman from buying or possessing handguns. The court order was sealed, secret. But last month, Sherman allegedly crashed his car in a construction zone late one night, walked to his in-law's Redmond home, and tried to break into the house. He allegedly fought with deputies who arrested him, and he's now facing five misdemeanor charges related to that case. These new records show that Sherman made numerous statements over the last year to family members that he wanted to end it all with a gun. The records say in December of last year, Sherman handed all of his firearms over to a family friend for safekeeping. And we now know that quick action by sheriff's deputies and Sherman's family likely kept him from getting his hands on another gun in February. Chris Ingalls, King 5 News. And Chris mentioned in his story that Sherman's family was able to intervene during the waiting period after initiative 1639 went into effect in 2019, you must wait 10 days between buying and picking up any firearm. It allows time for a background check and to make sure the buyer isn't making a potentially dangerous impulse buy. As for the extreme risk protection order, 19 states have them. Here in Washington, family members or law enforcement can request them if a person is a danger to themselves or others. Starting the process can be as easy as sending an email. That person would then have to hand over any firearms and cannot buy any new firearms. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, there are people that you can talk to for help. The National Suicide Prevention Hotline is there on your screen, 800-273-8255.